So we're going to see what we can do to help out this loading gate here on this Rossi R92. I'm Jeremy with Poindexter G. Um, I'm joined by this little stray kitten here that randomly showed up and decided to be in this video. So one thing I noticed after getting my Rossi R92 is that it is really, really difficult to load the rounds into here. I mean, they do not want to go in there easy. It's just really hard to push them in there. It's also got some sharp edges, so it's kind of like running your thumb across a cheese grater. It's just not real fun at all to work with on that. And so tried to come up with a few things to see what can be done to help that. Now I had looked online and talked with a few people about these and the one solution that some people had would be just kind of file back the edges a little bit. Um, I stripped mine down and filed on the inside of it there. I didn't get these outside edges any. Um, but I did a little bit on the inside and that really didn't seem to help it a whole lot because it's still just really hard to push them in there. And that is where someone else um, had recommended um, modifying the magazine tube spring. And that is what I ended up trying. Let me kind of show you what's going on with this here and we'll see. Okay, so I got the cap off of the magazine tube here. Originally when I got it, this spring here stuck a good bit out past it. I mean, it was like a good five inches beyond what it is here. And what I have been seeing online is that really you, um, only need about two to three inches of the magazine spring beyond the end of the magazine tube there. And they were basically just putting springs that were just like a little bit long and overly stiff. They used those same springs and some different length barrels. And so the recommendation was just to cut that down and I slowly cut it down into places and that did seem to make it easier to load uh, by quite a bit. And that made um, the sharp edges on it much less of an issue because you weren't pushing up against them as hard. So that was pretty nice. The problem that ended up happening from that was that taking off that, taking off a good four and a half, five inches of spring made the length of the spring when it was compressed a little bit shorter. And it made it to where you could, after the uh, 12th, uh, 38 round or the 11th, 357 round, you could get about another three quarters of a round in there, which would end it up sticking in the gate and be kind of difficult to get out of there. It wouldn't go in all the way and it would just kind of stick and you'd have to pry the thing out of there. I ended up like leaving marks on this one that I pried out. You can see what happened to it. And so I don't want to have this thing where I have to like count out the number of rounds that are in it all the time. I mean, I can count, but I'd like to be able to just stuff some in it. I'd like to be able to hand it to someone else and not have them try to cram another one in there. Um, and so the solution I came up to for that was to basically stick a plug in here. Now the plug would be something you would see a lot with, uh, with shotguns to reduce the um, capacity in the magazine. That's important to some areas where you have a round limit for um, the shotgun that you're using in some jurisdictions. So I ended up making this plug here. You could make this out of a wooden dowel or whatever else you can find as long as it fits inside of the spring like that. Now you're probably saying that's a lot longer than three quarters of a uh, round and yeah, you've got to take a number of things into account. You've got to have, since this is inside the spring, it's got to have the um, entire length of the spring when it's compressed in it. You got to have that three quarters of a round that you want to take off. And also when we look carefully at the follower here, we'll see that the follower is hollow on the inside. And so you're going to have about that much of it there additional that goes inside the follower. This will actually, now that I've played around with the length on this a number of times, if it will actually load rounds properly there. I'm not going to fire any off here. I don't need 
to actually shoot it to test that. So what we'll do is we'll load it up here. We'll see if we can get the right number of rounds in it here. And then we're going to see if it will actually cycle them through with the spring shorter. I've got 12 38 specials right here. We'll see how this goes. And so far, they're nice and easy to push in there. Takes just a little extra just push it in there and then one little extra tap of the thumb to get it in there that is much easier than what it was before So we got 12 rounds in there. Now I'm going to take a 13th, which shouldn't fit. And it won't even start to go in there. So that works great there. So now what we see is will it actually cycle properly? That seems to be working there. I'm going to put a little bit more force on it here now. We'll see what it does. All right, all of those seem to cycle through it perfectly fine. But we'll go ahead and do the same thing here with some 357. This should hold 11 357s. The 12th one should not fit in there. All right, got to have that closed. And the 12th one, once again, doesn't go now. So that's good. So once again, we'll see what we get here with this. So that seems to have taken care of it there. They seem to all be um, going through it properly now. You can feed in the proper number and not get another one jammed in there. And it is uh, properly feeding and ejecting and extracting all of them. And I think that's got that good and taken care of there. Well, if you found this video useful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and a like. You can go down into the comment section and leave any thoughts you have down there. And if you're interested, you can also subscribe to my channel and click the little bell notification to make sure that you catch all the videos that I post so you don't miss anything. I'm Jeremy with Poindexter G, and we'll see you next time.